Prediction time, Deontay Wilder versus Zhili Zhang. This is a very interesting fight. Anytime you get two heavy punches at heavyweight, it's going to be fun. You know the fight is going to be entertaining. But in terms of who's going to win, I really don't know. Because these guys are both coming off lackluster performances to Joseph Parker, where they both got outboxed. And, you know, Zhili Zhang had more success because he let his hands go more, but he still couldn't put Joseph Parker down for good. And even though he protested the decision or he was unhappy with it at first, he clearly lost. And Deontay Wilder, I mean, that that performance against Joseph Parker was absolutely abysmal. And he's been saying all the right things leading up to this fight, saying that the killer instinct is back, saying that he's going to let his hands go, saying that he feels sorry for Zhili Zhang, etc. But... We all know fighters can say whatever they want, but what really matters is what happens when they get in the ring. So is Deontay Wilder going to let his hands go? And if he does let his hands go, is he going to be a, an easy target for Zhili Zhang? Because the thing about Zhang is that even though he looks like a big, slow guy who, who's old, he does have fairly decent counterpunching um for a big man like for a guy who again is in his 40s is 270 plus pounds who again does not have fast feet this guy moves like an elephant he does have pretty good hand speed when he's counter punching i mean you saw that against philip hergovich whether or not he won that fight or or he should have got the decision is another matter but when hergovich was getting close to him and he wasn't able to get out of the way of Zhang's counterpunching a bit um, fast enough. Zhang was lighting him up with those hooks and uppercuts, and he also was able to land solidly on Joseph Parker, who, you know, once again, I felt fought the wrong game plan. But either way, Zhang did get outboxed, but when he was able to get close to Parker, his punches were no joke. So Zhang does have a chance to catch Deontay Wilder and put him down, but... The thing about Zhang is, one, he does fade later on, and even though he is quick with the counters, he's good at doing that against guys who stand in front of him. Deontay Wilder, he does move around a little bit, even though he looks clumsy. He moves around, I think, fast enough to trouble Zhang, because, again, Zhang is just so slow with his feet. And Zhang doesn't have the reach of Deontay Wilder. We're talking about 80 inches to 83 for Wilder and 6'6 to 6'7. Pretty similar there. But I do think that reach advantage for Wilder is going to matter because, again, Wilder, even though, again, his footwork is not good, he looks clumsy at times, I have a feeling that he's going to be able to move around enough to trouble Zhang. And if he is able to get that jab moving and he does let loose with that right hand, I mean, I can't see Zhang standing up to it too easily because, again, Zhang, he is there to be caught. And he doesn't use a lot of head movement. So it's a really, really tricky one to call because if Wilder does simply adopt a similar style to what he did to win the heavyweight championship against Vermeer Stavern, box on the back foot and let loose with the right hand cautiously, then... I can see him outboxing Zhili Zhang, but on the other hand, if he does what he usually does, like against Luis Ortiz and uh, Dominic Brazil, I know that fight ended in one round, but just hear me out on this, and he's also done the similar thing to Artish Bilka, which is he plants his feet, he lets loose with the right hand, and he telegraphs his shots because he's being very erratic in there going for one big shot rather than setting it up traditionally with the jab and other setups plants again plants his feet lets loose with the right hand telegraphs it and these guys are able to counter him Dominic Brazil did counter Wilder when before he got knocked out and Brazil is easy target practice to put it mildly Ortiz again slow guy doesn't have head movement always open for the big shot and you know similar to Zhang but not quite as skilled and because of his lack of amateur achievements talking about Ortiz and Artish Bilka fast move actually no not fast mover decent mover I should say homeless man's version of Alexander Usyk 
And, you know, Southpaw, a little bit awkward for Wilder. All he was doing was moving around. And he was able to catch Wilder plenty of times because Wilder, uh, he barely landed his jab in that fight because he was winging with a big shot. But also, Spilker wasn't giving him the opportunity to land the jab because he was, he was moving just a little bit. So I say all that to say this. If Wilder finds it a little bit difficult to land his jab... And so he decides, okay, the, the way I'm going to get Zhang out of there is by blasting him out. I'm the bronze bomber. I'm going to take him out. Big shot coming. Big right hand. So he sets himself, throws the right hand. I can easily see Zhang countering him because, again, Zhang is wicked with those uppercuts and hooks. So, and also Wilder's chin... After those beatdowns against Tyson Fury, he's never going to be able to take the same punch. I mean, Joseph Parker hurt him, and Joseph Parker's hands are faster than Zhang's, but they still... But Zhang's counterpunching ability, again, is good. I know I keep going on about it, but again, for a good, big guy who moves slower than a glacier when, when he's being aggressive and doesn't move his head and his 40 and his 270 pounds, Zhang has fast counters. And if they land on Wilder, I I definitely expect Wilder to go down. But by saying that, if Wilder lands that big right hand on Zhang, I'm sure he's going to hurt him. And I would not be shocked at all if Zhang went to the canvas. So again, it's an interesting fight. I don't know how it's going to go, personally. And these guys, because they're coming off lackluster performances, either of them could win and lose. And either one of them could snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. This is a very, very interesting fight. But I have to pick a winner. So based on last performances, who was a little bit more active, I'm going to go with Zhili Zhang. I can see Zhang maybe taking a little step with, um, or a little bit of movement to the left or the right to take the sting off of that right hand just a wee bit. I'm sure he's going to feel it. I mean, nobody takes a a winging shot from Wilder and doesn't get hurt. But those uppercuts and hooks, I believe, will be the difference. And when Wilder gets caught, let's be honest, Wilder doesn't fight on the inside because he doesn't know how to. And it's all long-range boxing from him. And even though Zhang, I believe, is going to get hit plenty of times on the outside, I don't think Wilder's going to be able to get close to Zhang without getting caught. Because Wilder, or even though Wilder always knocks his opponents down, uh, except for Joseph Parker, uh, Wilder always gets caught. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Zhili Zhang. I'm going to say uh, round eight stoppage because, again, Zhang has thunderous power. And Wilder's chin is never going to be the same after those Fury performances. So let me know what you guys think down below. Zhili Zhang by knockout round seven or TKO. Let's wait and see. Drop your thoughts down below. How do you see this fight going? Like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. As always, guys, catch you later.